haptic disc and visual field defects okay so now my question is how do you assess the visual field and how do you visual, uh, assess the optic disc defects qualitatively and quantitatively so that means structurally and functionally how do you define glaucoma or how do you investigate glaucoma okay so structurally you can look at it quantitatively by doing your optic disc examination by slit lamp examination using ophthalmoscope yeah and but that's again just qualitative so you can do a red light free optic disc examination again all that is only qualitative now quantitatively how can i look at the optic disc and the rnfl now why do i want to look at the rnfl because when i have a ganglion cell loss the axons which make up the optic nerve are going to die so i will have to look at the axons and how do i look at the axons the axons of the ganglion cells pass through the rnfl that is the retinal nerve fiber layer so i have to assess the optic disc and also the rnfl and if possible i should also be able to assess the ganglion cell layer what we call as the gcc complex thickness all right now so structural assessment for glaucoma would be an oct because by oct you can look at the optic disc you can look at the rnfl you can look at the ganglion cell layer complex all right so oct is one then also you can use another investigation uh, again it's objective not subjective and you can quantify it that is confocal laser scanning ophthalmoscopy and then we have scanning laser polarimetry so oct confocal scanning laser ophthalmoscopy then you have um, scanning laser polarimetry all right so these are structural assessments of optic disc and rnfl all right whereas your red light free optic uh, disc photography is just a qualitative assessment yes it's useful when you want to follow up the patient you're going to compare with the previous picture and the next picture all right that's uh, just qualitative but again it comes under structural all right now functional assessment so functional assessment as you all know visual field defects it's uh, a function so uh, perimetry so the various types of perimetry and also your pupillary examination so if i have an advanced use of glaucomatous optic atrophy so in that case i'm all i'm going to have an afferent pupillary defect so pupillary reflex okay so functional assessment number three you can also use visual evoked potential again a functional way of assessing uh, glaucomatous progression okay so this short video is about the structure and functional assessment okay guys so the test today is going to be based on this and a little more all the best